<laughs> Have you ever wondered what would happen if you mixed Mythbusters with The Walking Dead? We are Zombie Go Boom! Filmmakers and zombie survival enthusiasts. Using our scientifically accurate zombie heads, we put retail weapons, homemade weapons, and everyday objects to the test in order to see what will save you during the zombie apocalypse. Survive, protect, and kick undead ass! What's up, survivors? And yes, my head is in a real guillotine. I'm joined with Brandon Baldwin from Gizmo Slip, Aaron Ooh. Heidel from the Guillotine Guys on DestructionChannel.com, and Charles obviously is here today. And yes, we will be testing out this 12 foot tall guillotine with a freaking 70 to 90 pound, depending on the weights that we put on it, blade. And we're gonna be testing it on an Ivan head to see what would happen to a zombie if you're lucky enough to catch one and put it in there. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Are you guys excited? Woo! -hoo! Freaking awesome. All right. Yay. Oh, but before we actually test it on an Ivan head, we're gonna test it on a bunch of other stuff like food and all sorts of stuff. We're gonna see what this thing can do. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please subscribe to Brandon and Aaron. Both of the links in the description below. Now, without further ado, here's the guillotine. All right, pineapple, here we go. Check this out. That is actually a really tasty pineapple. You want back there? Yeah. Plastic skull! Jug of water! carbonated beverage. Next up is a papaya. A clean slice. Tasty too. Two bags of flour. Thank you. 
watermelon. of cola into the bloody pumpkin. All right, Aaron wants to wear this as a hat. <laughs> How does that feel? I don't know, is it fashionable? It is, I think you should do that every day. <laughs> uh, Let's take it off, see what your hair looks like. Oh yeah, oh yeah, perfect, now you can spike it up, look all cool. It's gonna be like that for a while. Too, so. <laughs> he didn't know what he was getting himself into. <laughs> There's a water hose right over there if you need it. Yeah. Who's Beautiful. Pizza? All right, so we've got some lavender and peach blossom for Chuck after he comes out of the bathroom. Whatever. <laughs> That's Nate. So we're going to put this here. We're going to light this on fire. Now, this is flammable on the inside, so we're going to all get way back. Uh, and we're going to drop the guillotine on this sucker. It's going to cause, hopefully, an explosion of an explosion based off of, like, first of all, these are pressurized, so it's going to explode out of that, just from that, the pressure of escaping. And then it's going to catch on fire when it comes by the flame. So yeah. it's gonna be really interesting in slow motion, it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, and this is a torch we made out of uh, wool, a stick, uh, some bacon grease that I've been saving up for this special occasion. <laughs> and uh, the bacon grease will not light very easily, so we're gonna use a tiny bit of gasoline to get it started. Just a tiny bit, you yeah. ready? Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, that's just like five drops or something like that. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Hold up. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> Boom, check it out, sliced in half. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, we've got an Ivan head right here. We've raised the blade all the way up. This one's only a little bit messed up in the temple from a fireworks video we did yesterday with gizmo slips, so check that out. But after that, we're gonna decap this guy right here. All right, so we have a total oh. facial decap. Oh. It's insane. Oh. Did I get blood, got all over blood all over the camera? Dang it, I have to clean that off. But anyway, <laughs> this is pretty ridiculous. That it is just crazy. went through the skull completely and through the mandible. 
And, uh... Nice. That's what's left. Dude, so, Aaron, you guys' guillotine is crazy. Yeah, I can't believe I was able to do that. So it's definitely going to do a decap, but we're still going to do it because it's going to be a lot of fun. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That is so gross. Chuck is not a basketball player. No. So, what happened was the. Oh. That's what happened. Hey! Francis Free! Look, what happened was the blade hit with a lot of force, but there's a big gap, which means that it sort of cut and broke the neck and then squeezed it into the gap so it was a total decap it's just that some of the skin wasn't cut all the way so I had to rip the head right off but all I ripped was essentially this skin that was um, probably the most disgusting decap I've ever seen in, in my life. And it then, definitely looked like the most painful. Yeah. I mean, if a zombie feels pain. Yeah, right. And if it's not a zombie, then yeah, that would have sucked. It didn't, we didn't have a in the basket kind of a thing. We might retest this again. But uh, my God, that was disgusting. Thank you so much, Aaron. No again, problem. the guillotine guys at destructionchannel.com. Link is in the description below. Also, Gizmo Slip. Brandon will be back. Link is in the description below. All right, well, there you have it. Our Halloween guillotine extravaganza brought to you by Zombie Go Boom, Gizmo Slip, and Destruction Channel, or the guillotine guys, obviously. This thing is a badass beast. And of course, it gets the overkill seal of destruction. That is, of course, if you can tie up a zombie and get him right in the sweet spot. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please subscribe to these guys. Link is in the description below along with other links. So please, please do that because it helps a lot. It helps all of us a lot. And with another mind-blowing episode from Zombie Go Boom, I'm Chuck Murray. Charles Fultz. Brandon Baldwin, give us a slip. Aaron Heidel, Destruction Channel. We'll see you next time. Woo! Thanks for watching.